Hi guys, welcome to the system. It's the ISO of the holiday, the holiday ISO of mid-August that we've used. And um, we're going to show you how to install the Arconix XS. So how to install Arconix XS. We have all the information already available and all the questions you could ask have already probably an answer on our websites. Right, so take a look there and everything that's there also on the forum don't forget there is a forum so in here is everything you need to know about your bias you will find pre-installation installation so if you're wondering if you're doing something wrong this is the place check it right and we're gonna make we just made a video here for how to install Arconix XL now we're gonna make how to install Arconix XS and we're only making these videos when things really changed and really this, this release, everything changed well, quite considerably. So let's have a look. So we have everything available. We go to Super F7, which is already there. And then we have the Arconix XL, what we've done. So we're gonna clone this thing and say, this is Arco Linux XS. Go to the correct ISO. Let's do that again, click. Choose a disk file, XS, open, and we boot up. And now we explain. So one of the goals of Arch Linux, right, is to make you familiar with Linux. Not Arch Linux, Linux. And then Arch Linux, and then Arch Linux. So we have a new BIOS or UFI system. So the other video, I gave you the boot up like this which is bias so maybe it's just the same thing but just maybe it's interesting for people to see something else everything something else sorry enable efi or uefi if you boot up this it's actually the same thing but it looks a bit well bare in the sense that there is no nice logo so it's the same thing it's for the older machines bias and ufi is for the newer machines White and black, right? Arconix XS, install medium, UFI, open source, means whatever you find on the ISO is gonna use it. It's gonna use the kernel, everything he knows, Linux kernel from Linux Torvalds and his team. He's gonna look at the hardware and try to figure out, okay, I need this driver, that driver, plus the extra drivers we have there as well. If you do this line, exactly the same, but we'll remove XF86 video nouveau. We've learned in the past weeks that it's sometimes good for hardware out there not to have the nouveau there. So I thought I made one for NVIDIA. So let's say, let's make one for open source as well. So the kernel and the XF86 videos without nouveau. This has nouveau, this is without nouveau. Nouveau is the support for NVIDIA, the open source support. And this is the support from the NVIDIA.com website, right? But sometimes you don't need, well, you don't want the Nouveau driver to be there because it clashes and it crashes and everything is black and users get frustrated. Some of us out there have bought a system that needs line number four. Bought something with an NVIDIA but it can't function if a if Nouveau driver is there. So that's your option here. If all of this fails, so basically it's try the first ones, try the second one, third, third one, fourth one. If everything fails, this is should be no mode set, is telling to the kernel, never mind. Just give me the minimal graphical possibilities, like 800 pixels on 600, right? It's really gonna be very small, ugly, but you're booting up and then you figure out later what driver do I need because there is the NVIDIA driver which is let's say for the newer NVIDIA cards you'll be fine but there's also two other packages NVIDIA 340 and NVIDIA 390 you can't select them here they need to be built from the AOR later on you'll learn what AOR stands for so it's choices choose one of those lines one of those lines should be able to boot up in Arconix and join our Arconix University, right? That's the goal. So 
choose wisely and basically guys trial and error test it out what does your system need when do i see something graphical and when if i reboot i'm actually in something graphical that's the point come and join us but not in a black screen even then you can fix things right Control alt f1 f2 f3 f4 remember the keyboard shots shortcuts Control alt f2 f3 f4 and you have tty as they say and in there you can also update your system remove drivers add drivers and then try to fix your system And then we boot up and this is new as well now in the last video in the excel video i didn't talk about this these as extra buttons so maybe i should do that so depending on where you live the globe right the earth is round we have different arch linux i say arch not arco there are lots of arch linux servers over the globe it's best to get the servers near to you or the fastest for you where you live so that this button is actually going to refresh the list of all the servers it can find yes you need internet if you don't got the internet you're sit sitting on the beach without internet it can't update arch Linux mirrors run gparted is also an advice we can give to people is to say clean everything up right there are people making themselves lie their lives difficult in the sense that they have one partition second partition third partition fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth at some point in time it will go wrong right so our advice is just one operating system per ssd or hard disk or nvme keeps life simple and without frustrations and just fun because basically you just updating nothing can go wrong with grubs and all that so delete everything that is to be deleted so with this button here you select select and you say delete delete and then you say here on the icon go for it and everything is removed then we see this everything is removed and now we have this option a new option in may 2021 we gave you more freedom we gave you this giving you this is great it means it's it's all powerful it's all about freedom giving you the possibility to install linux kernels lts kernels hardened kernels zen kernels i mean four kernels available just by clicking here you can install the latest video intel so there are already drivers on the iso but this means go get me the latest one from the internet if the iso is like two years old I suppose there will be an update right so you get them getting immediately those guys from the internet this is there to remind you that for nvidia guys it's best to choose already in bias or already in ufi which we didn't because it's a virtual box but choose there you can choose here but we recommend you do it already in the beginning this is something else. This is, means that you want to have the Linux LTS. But this again, right, it's getting complex. This is for later. If you have more knowledge about packages and which packages go together, then this is great for you. You can decide other logins. You can decide to add on this XFCE, this is an XFCE, to say, I'm gonna combine it with Qtile, because I love Qtile. It's just a click away and lots of things will be installed as well and qtile will be functional and working right internet is required right this is new in the sense that we give you an overview of all the most interesting packages of article links that you can use like installing steam so i click boom and it plays right don't need to have all these difficult settings and no it's all in one go a lot of applications will be installed in the end you just you're just playing right seconds later that's the point no frustrations just fun lots of applications that you can choose for 
for a beginner, it's probably too much, right? But later on, after maybe a few months already, you have seen every application, you've installed every application and you've made it your choices already. That's the good one, that's a good one, I wanna have that one. And then you can select it immediately here. That's what we got in May, that's what we got in July. This is what we give you now. Because we see that for beginners, this is a better approach. All general streamline Linux distributions give you this, no choices. We give the choice for the language, for future reference, this is the version number. Next, they tell you or ask you where you live. Fine, you can change some elements here for the system language and the dates. You can change what keyboard you have. In here, we give you already choices. In other distributions, you don't get a choice. It's gonna be often swap with Hibernate and it's gonna be X4 or BTRFS and that's it. But you can't select anything. Here we still give you some choice, which means you need some knowledge, right? If you have a lot of memory, you don't need swap, okay? What's a lot? eight and above is already cool. I mean, that's a lot of gigabytes for Linux. Depends, of course, what you're gonna do with the system. I can't know that, but as general idea, that's okay. Lower than eight and don't wanna hibernate, that's this one. You wanna hibernate, which means it's a, it's a button, it's an option, then the memory goes into this particular pink thing here, red thing and you can reboot with all the applications open. That's hibernating. Everything that's open stays open when you wake it up again. And this one is a swap to file. We'll, we have made something of our own in the sense that it's not 512 giga, uh, kilobytes, but it's two gigabytes. So already a little bit bigger because what can you do with 512 um, kilobytes? Huh? Correct, I'm saying it correct, am I? think so right a two gigabyte is what we have now um, so choices here but um, lots of memory you do this you choose X, x4 if you don't know what all this is and you just choose the general this is what people in general take or this or that and swap to file uh, yeah, actually it's 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 a choice right it doesn't really matter it only matters if you feel that the system is getting slow and you need more memory, but you don't have it. You don't have the money to buy extra memory. Um, how do you call it? Uh, I don't know the name, but memory hardware, let's call it like that. Then you can have this extra memory here, like in swap. So I'll just keep this one, but X4 is the general assumed safe file system btrfs is as well but okay and the others as well but most of the time this does ship with x4 you choose your name password and all that login automatically without asking password same password for the root or administrator account yes no choices and then you install the system and then you say install now and this is the, the easiest it can get. I mean, there are no choices here. It's just few choices. You don't need to know any packages about a video or, or Intel microcode, what all that is. And it will be an, a system, the one you're looking at, right? What you see is what you get. So the applications that you see here, which is barely none, because we're installing XS. XL stands in clothing for extra large. XS stands for extra small. Extra small means, oops, I don't have any applications. Where is the category for internet? There is no browser. There is nothing, no application in the category internet. All of this, what you see, is just XFC4 and XFC4 goodies. Two packages, actually group packages, 
that install all of this plus some stuff from us of course com keys tweak tool but you'll learn that later on so that's your xs experience um don't think i forgot anything so this video will come inside control f let me do a in here control f like this so this video will come in here how to install article X xs no software is pre-installed and if you're wondering what all these difference between all these things it's all of course documented it's the wrong button eric it's documented on the info start here article links editions aha uh -huh. we have an extra large an extra small now we have also an extra small with lds i'll make the video later on and then we have the d version it's very bare and now we have the b's all the b isos so here is your summary here's also the links to all our social media and some more information join us on discord technical stuff just about that links telegram chit chat away and um, the forum don't forget the forum for support but everything got a little bit easier i hope um, with choices you need knowledge but this gives you a new way of looking at things the easy installation or beginner installation and then you boot up and you have a system and then you learn 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 and later on you can switch to the advanced all right enjoy your collects